continuity equation is based on the principle of conservation of mass. So for example, for a given pipe, the amount of uh, mass entering during a time interval delta t is same as the amount of mass uh, leaving the system during that time. Um, there's an assumption that there is no exchange going on at the boundaries. Um, so what exactly happens during this uh, time interval delta t? For example, if uh, the area, velocity, and density at the inlet of the pipe are a1, v1, and rho1, then um, during delta t time, the velocity uh, moves uh, a cross-section by a distance, which is the velocity time the time interval. Now, if we look at this small uh, cylinder, the total volume that has entered during delta t time is area times the, the distance moved, which is a1 times v1 times delta t. And if this is the volume entered, then the mass entered will be the fluid density times the volume. So we get mass entered, uh, which is rho times a times v times the time interval. Now we can do the same thing at the um, outlet, and knowing that the cross-section at the outlet is a2 and uh, velocity of exit is v2, we can create a similar equation, which will be uh, density times area times velocity and times a uh, uh, time interval. Now, uh, from the conservation of mass, since mass in is equal to mass out, the two equations two or two terms can be combined to create an equation uh, of mass balance. Now, notice that delta t is common on both sides, which can be canceled and the relationship reduces to a relationship between density, cross-section area, and velocity at the inlet and, out and, and outlet. And also, if we impose the condition of incompressible fluids, which is true for case of water at uh, normal speeds, the density is constant, and it does not change from inlet to outlet. And in that case, the density can be canceled and we get uh, the equation uh, a1 times v1 is a2 times v2 are equal, and this is the continuity equation.